Hey guys, welcome to another guitar lesson and today I want to show you one of my favorite scales or actually probably my favorite scale um, which I was using in the beginning of this video mainly um, it is called Lydian Dominant and it has kind of like a suspicious kind of trippy sound and that's what I really love about this scale and this scale is a really great way to incorporate a different feel in your solos or if you just want to have a different sound play a bit outside um, apart from your standard uh, minor pentatonic kind of playing this is a really great way and the scale basically is the fourth mode of melodic minor so basically if you already know all the shapes of melodic minor you just have to approach Lydian dominant uh, by the fourth tone of the melodic minor scale and you will receive Lydian dominant and Actually, as you can already hear by the name of the scale, um, we got Lydian, so we have a major scale um, with a raised fourth in there. But the difference um, to the standard Lydian scales that we have the flattened seven in there, and this is really great because now we can use this scale um, for dominant chords. So. Um, cool thing about neo soul music is that we have a lot of dominant chords in there and you can color that chord with different modes and Lydian dominant is actually one of my favorite ways to color a dominant 7 chord. So let me give you another sound example. progression we'll be using today is a typical minor jazz blues chord progression that you hear all the time and the first chord we're going to be using is a B minor 7 chord or tonic and the next chord we're going to play is a dominant 7 chord a G dominant 7 chord followed by a G flat dominant 7 chord going back to our tonic and the G dominant 7 chord basically works as a chord substitution um, for the second diatonic chord step of B minor. So if we're on a key of B minor, our second chord would be a D flat half diminished chord. And the G dominant 7 chord basically works as a chord substitution for the D flat half diminished chord. And that's like a typical minor jazz blues chord progression and I really think that this progression is the best way to portray the sound of Lydian dominant. I don't know why but I just have the feeling that on, on the dominant chord on the 6 um, we really get the feeling of the scale and really sounds amazing to me. So what we're basically doing is um, on the G dominant 7 chord we're going to be using the G Lydian dominant scale or if it's easier for you you can just use the D melodic minor scale. Another really great way of using this scale more frequently is in a standard blues chord progression and let me show you how you can incorporate that scale. So let's stay in the key of B but we're gonna switch to B dominant 7 like as you will receive in a normal blues context. And on the B chord, maybe you're just gonna play your typical major blues or minor blues. Then we're gonna go to our first chord, which is a dominant 7 chord. In this case, it would be an E dominant 7 chord. And instead of playing. Lydian or playing our major pentatonic, we're just gonna incorporate the Lydian dominant scale. So let me show you how this sounds. So 
basically we are using the E Lydian dominant scale or which makes it really easy you can just play the B melodic minor scale so if you know one shape of melodic minor like the basic shape you can just use that on the fourth chord and you will receive really great Lydian dominant sound I really hope you enjoyed that lesson if you want to see more videos like that then feel free to subscribe to my channel